The robots are taking over. I mean, they're taking over everywhere. The androids are taking over. We've got a lot of fears around artificial intelligence taking over computer networking and taking over everything. Some of those fears are somewhat warranted, some are not. We're going to get into, is artificial intelligence going to be taking over computer networking? And we're going to get into that in just a, a few points here. Um, I wanted to address this because this question keeps coming up and it, I keep... It, getting this question over and over again. I'm Clint Garrett, Ace Networker, and I want to welcome you to this channel, and I want to welcome you to this video. Is artificial intelligence, is AI going to take over? Well, probably not. And I'll tell you why. Actually, it's kind of ironic that in the field of IT, in the field of computer networking, that machine language and machine learning is not going to be taking over as much as it is in other areas. So in areas of content creation and video and images and things like that, yes, AI is definitely taking the scene and it's advancing in a lot of different ways there. Will it be taking over computer networking? Well, ironically, no. Um, and I'll tell you why. Now, at some point, more than likely, it it can. We're going to plan for that as human beings. We're going to work around that. We're going to adjust to it just like we have uh, for a long time. So first point we want to make is that in, computer, in the field of computer networking, human beings have to have a lot of intuition and a lot of expertise and you have to have understanding of how a network is functioning so that you can kind of get an intuition when it comes to troubleshooting. What changed, what happened, what's what's going on there or what what might be causing the issues with connectivity to these this vast number of buildings over here on this side of the campus that type of thing that is not something that machine language can do yet and so we want to address that and the point that a lot of experts uh and i want to point to this is that are talking about now is look back to the the weavers of the 1800s when the when the weaving machines came out a lot of people wanted to there were there were several cases where people would come in and destroy those weaving machines because they were they were trying to take all their jobs away and that's not what happened what happened was uh, humanity is more creative and we came up with other needs and other problems to be solved to create other jobs and other needs around those needs and problems that needed to be solved so the weaving machines didn't take over and make humans worthless and so we we start with that experts always start with something like that to kind of point to to say no let's be a little more realistic about it and let's talk about how ai will change the scene when it comes to computer networking that's what we're talking about on this channel first of all things that can be done with a decision tree this is what the experts are saying right now and i i'm i tend to go along with this based on my own experience in the field of networking. If it can be solved with a decision tree, then it's definitely going to be taken over by AI and machine learning because that's just going to take a load off of human beings having to do things. So your CLI jockeys, your VLN masters, those type of things are going to kind of vanish because they're no longer going to be needed. Uh, it may be a good idea to, to still know command line interface and to know those things, but machine learning is going to take over that some of those um, meticulous functions of that are involved in computer networking and it will have enough intuition to be able to determine what changed and what decision needs to be made at this point so they they always tell you at this point in the, at this point in the game look at it on a uh, the basis of can it be put into a decision tree if it can be put into a decision tree then definitely AI, artificial intelligence, is going to be taking that over at some point. So if you have a job whereby uh, you do a lot of command line interface, you do a lot of the tedious stuff, uh, the VLAN changes and designs and things like that, that's definitely going to disappear. And they're, you're, they're not going to need to pay some human being to do that when machine learning can sit there and do it all day long, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Okay, So that's the first aspect of it. Um, the other thing is, look back at the last 300 years of humanity. We went from half a billion people to almost 10 billion people at the time I'm making this video. And yet, we still have jobs. 
And it's because we are, are creative as human beings, we still understand that there are needs here that can be jobs can be created around that need to be created around to solve problems. And that's what business is about. That's what technology is about. It's about solving problems and making things easier. So AI at this point is not going to be able to intuitively and creatively come up with solutions to every problem that we have. However, you can look back at the last 300 years and say, uh, do we, over the last 300 years, do we get the feeling that we have ever run out of jobs? No. Now, you get different economies and different jobs created because different businesses uh, to either thrive or die, depending on what's happening in that economy. But it is not because of population growth and it is not because of technology advancement that those jobs are disappearing. It's usually because of economics. And then you have more jobs that come back whenever the economy picks up because you've got more needs and society is flourishing. Just take all of that into consideration. Your intelligent type jobs where you have intuition, where you have expertise and experience, and you just kind of know. Now, as an engineer, I kind of knew when uh, the, the more you work with those technologies, the more you work with networks, the more intuitive you get. You kind of got, I kind of got like a, a police detective after a point because I would just be able to tell somebody would say this portion of the network stopped working and I would say what changed did somebody connect something new did something happen did did something go out did did something stop working and intuitively you'd be able to, to determine that with about a 90% 95% accuracy after a period of years of working in the industry you just kind of got an intuitive understanding of that's what's causing the problem I I can tell you right now now if, is AI going to get to that point anytime soon? We don't know. I'm sure it will advance, and it is revolutionary in its technology. But at this point, and probably for the next five to ten years, easy, you're not going to see AI have intuition and the creative ability based on expertise to just intuitively know that like human beings do. Also, you're not going to see AI uh, unless the robots start taking over, which, you know, again... We don't, we don't know, but at this point, the robots aren't taking over. The robots would need to be able to go in and physically move components around. You've got switches, routers, servers, hard drives that need to be replaced, uh, power supplies, things like that that have to be checked. And human beings, as technicians in an engineering uh, networking environment, have to understand that type of stuff. So you can't just have robots that do everything when it comes to that, because they, again, would need to have some type of intuition and understanding of I need to look at this because this isn't working right, or that needs to be changed out. That's not fast enough, so I'm going to physically bring in another switch or router to handle that traffic, or a backup to handle the backup or failover for that. So just understand these components. Uh, the components of, of human intuition and expertise will override AI, especially when it comes to, ironically, when it comes to computer networking. Also understand that AI cannot solve every problem. And you want to know why? Here's proof of it. We still have problems. We still have unemployment. We still have hunger in the world. We still have problems in different places. And the reason we still have problems is because technology hasn't solved all of our problems, nor has it taken over. And that was the fear with computers to begin with. It was going to take over, much like the weavers of the 1800s Everybody thought this is it's going to take over. That's it. We're we're done, but we're not. We still have issues. We still have problems, and those problems need to be solved and addressed. And communication across the globe and from person to person, and being able to share information, data over computer networks is going to be a thing for quite some time. Okay, that's not going to change. It's the the physicality of we have a, a planet Earth and that planet Earth has distances between locations, you're always going to need networking, okay? It's always going to be there. So it's not going to be something that's uh, like alive that just adjusts itself the way it needs to. That's, that's not going to be the case. And that would have to come to that point for human beings to not be even needed in the realm of computer networking. So let's take it to that extreme. Now, I will say this. We used to joke about this when I was an engineer, years ago we used to joke about 
being able to just look at a switch or a router or a server and say, configure this many VLANs and give me this much traffic on this. I, I need a pipe this size, this bandwidth over here. Uh, set that up. Also create fail safe over here. And we thought, oh, that'd be great. Now that's something that might be potentially on the horizon with AI. With voice recognition and AI being able to not only mimic your own voice, your own image, it can also understand verbal cues and languages. So you may be able to look at AI and say, what's wrong with my network? And if it's connected to something like network manager or software defined networking, which is where computer networking is really headed, software defined networking, SDN, AI may be able to look at that and give you a response or type out a response either way and say, here's what happened. This changed over here. So as, as opposed to you having somebody physically on site saying, I think what happened is this guy came in and connected a cable over here and connected these two switches together and created a loop. What will happen is AI will be able to assess that and say, this is what changed. And you'll immediately be able to go check that out or just make the changes remotely, hopefully. So that aspect of AI is definitely on the horizon. So we'll talk more about this as we go along. I'll have some more instructional videos. Obviously, that's what this channel is about. But we, I just wanted to address this concern because machine learning, uh, well, I'll just leave you with this. Machine learning learns from a history of information. I'll go this way with you. A history of information. It, it, it takes a history of information and it learns from that and learns to predict based off of that. So if you have a new network set up uh, on a campus or an enterprise level network set up somewhere and you've got AI just saying, AI, monitor this, it doesn't really have a baseline to work with. And it has to have a history. It has to have a, a list of things to look at to be able to make its judgments based off of that. So if it doesn't have that history, it's not going to have much to work with. So it may be able to tell you, oh, this changed or that changed, but it's not going to have a full history unless it's been there for a long period of time. Now, in the technological realm, a long period of time could be one hour. It could be one day. It could be a week. I, you know, you, you determine how much that needs to be. So here's what you need to do when it comes to AI and computer networking. Definitely human beings are going to be needed and having expertise and they're going to be paid more and more because the needs for computer networking experts, engineers, admins, techs is growing by leaps and bounds because networks are growing by leaps and bounds. More and more people are building networks, using networks, and they, they need experts to be able to help them out with those things and keep their networks running efficiently and smoothly and helping them grow in advance. So the need for human beings in the realm of networking is definitely there. Now, here's my suggestion to you based off of my own experience. If you're kind of stagnant in your learning and your education, you're not learning something new, and there is a vast number of things that you can learn in the realm of networking, but if you're not learning something new, then you're going to find yourself without a job, even if you had one, because you need to be advancing towards something in the realm of networking that you are interested in and you can kind of see is growing and advancing. So learning things like Python programming, learning things like software defined networking, those are the things that are coming along in the realm of computer networking. We can just tell that that's, it's moving toward that. In the areas of cloud computing, Cloud computing is being relied on and used more and more. I would highly suggest that you get into learning about how networking works with cloud computing and become an expert in that realm. Also, and this will never change, security. Security is a vastly, a fast growing field in computer networking. So get into some sort of security aspect if that is, is something that you're interested in not only learn computer networking, but learn security, and you'll be set. You'll be one of the guys they come to or one of the women they come to and say, we need your help. We need what you know how to do, and we need you. And they're willing to pay you substantially for that because it's worth it to them. With that, 
Is artificial intelligence going to take over? We'll see. But with that, I'm Clint Garrett, Ace Networker, and I'll see you in the next video. Are you ready?